Hello again. Today's tutorial will be on adding mouse click events to our objects. At the moment we have a little level set up with a few objects and uh, have our main character who when she collides with the wall stops moving so she can't walk through the wall and we've got our basic left, right, up and down events and our actions to match those. I also have a no key event so that when we stop pressing a key, she stops moving as well. So there's our main character. Our wall is set up as solid and visible, but doesn't have any events or actions in it. And what we want to do is, while our character is walking around, we want to add some enemies. So I have a skull object and sprite set up here. So first of all, uh, when our skull is going to be created in the room, we want it to start moving in a random direction. So choose all of the directional arrows. And if it's at the same speed, then she will be able to um, walk away at the same speed. We'll test it and see what happens. Um, so we want a way of getting rid of our enemy objects and that will be through a mouse click event. So if we add a new one here and say when we press our left mouse button, what we want to do is actually get rid of the skull and a way to do that in the main one tab here, we've got lots of options for our objects. We can create a new instance of either this object or a different object. We can change it into uh, a different object create a moving instance, so when it's first created, it begins to move in a particular direction. We can create a random object, and we can, of course, destroy the instance or destroy at a particular position, which we're not going to go through today. The one we want is to destroy the instance. Now here, we have the options. Do we want to destroy the skull itself? Yes, we do. There are... Um, circumstances where you would actually choose the other object, so the, the other object that it collides with, or a specific and different object. We want self. Let's test it and see what happens. Oh. Delete this bit. So, before we test it, we obviously need to add a few skulls. That's probably too many for our poor little girl. Okay, they go off the screen, which isn't very helpful. So once we have set that up, we then also want to make sure that it bounces against the wall. And I'm actually going to slow it down a little bit so it's really, really easy to test. Okay, so now we can use the mouse to get rid of our skulls. To be quite precise with that, mouse click. And there we've got rid of all our enemies. Pretty cool. What if we wanted to create a second enemy that looked different but did essentially the same thing? I've already set up a sprite for a bomb. The easiest thing to do is actually just right click on the object and duplicate it. What that does, it copies all of the properties, events and actions and we can simply choose a different sprite. So that's really handy if you've got multiple characters where you've got maybe a character select screen and you want them all to be able to do the same thing. You want them to be able to move and walk and jump but you don't want to have to create it over and over. So you can create your first character and then you simply just duplicate it. So that's all for today.